Hey guys, this is Post Production Pi with srlounge.com. All right, guys, so we're going to move on to the spot removal tool, and we can select it with the shortcut Q. So I'm going to hit Q. It's going to activate our spot removal tool, and uh, we have two types of spot removal brushes. Now the first one is a cloning brush, and what the cloning brush is going to do is it's going to replace your target area with an area that you sample from. Now it works a little bit different than the healing brush, and what the healing brush does is it replaces the target area with kind of an interpolated guess from a sample area. So it kind of takes your sample area and it guesses what should be in that healing area and it kind of heals that out. Now as far as the way we apply them, we actually apply them the exact same way. And unfortunately, one of our gripes with Lightroom 4 is that we can still only change the size of the brush, but we cannot actually change the shape of it. And not being able to change the shape actually causes quite a few limitations as far as just how we can use this brush inside of Lightroom. And it makes it so that we have to actually still go into Photoshop and in many situations. We're going to show you guys exactly how this works and when we would still need to go into Photoshop to fix things in our image. So let's get started. We're going to start first by doing a little clone. Actually, why don't we, yeah, let's start first with the clone. Now, when you have a tool selected, if you want to zoom in on your image, you have a couple options. The easiest one is to hold down the space bar, and while you're holding it, it brings up your little zoom icon, and wherever you left click, it's going to automatically zoom in on that area. While still holding down the space bar, I can click and drag around this area to change where I'm focusing on, and I can change my zoom, how we previously mentioned, in this navigator window. Now one to one is good enough, we can see it clearly, and that's fine. So I'm going to let go of my space bar, and automatically my tool pops back up, and then we're just going to adjust the size of the clone brush down to be just a little bit bigger than the actual spots that we're removing. What you want to do when you're cloning out an area is have the adjustment brush be as close to the size of that area as possible to get the best effect out of it. Same with the healing brush, by the way. Okay, so I'm going to click on this spot right here, and automatically Lightroom is going to guess and sample from this area next to it. Now that's fine. It's sampled from an okay area. But if Lightroom accidentally took this sample from, say, over this tree, you can see that it replaces my, my little you can see they replace my little dust spec with now a portion of the tree. So basically the clone tool is just replacing our target area with our sample area. Now you know it's the sample area because we have our circle and the arrow goes away from the circle pointing to the target area. So if we want to adjust the size, shape, or location of the target area, we can just click it and move it around however we like. So I'm going to leave it right over that dust spot, and if we want to adjust the size of it, we can go onto the edge where the line is and click and drag however we like. Now once again, I'm going to leave it pretty small. I'm going to leave it right there. And now we're going to click on our sample area and move it to an area that's more appropriate, which is like right next to it. And that's great. We're going to do the exact same thing. I'm going to hold space bar and drag. And then we're doing the same thing with this spot right there. And let's see if there's more spots that are about that size on our image. And I think it's about right. There might be some other small ones, but that's okay. Now this larger area right here, let's heal this out. So what we're going to do now is go to our healing brush. And now we're going to adjust the size of the healing brush to kind of match the area that we're trying to heal out. So I'm going to select this area right here. And now it's going to automatically try and guess and sample from an area that it thinks is the correct area to replace. And it sampled correctly. But if it brought it over the trees once again, we would need to fix that again. So we're just going to bring it right over that other area right here, right next to it. And what you want to do with the healing brush is you want to move it over an area, especially when you're dealing with the sky uh, or skin tones or whatever it is, you want to move it over an area that has a very close, very similar look and, and color to it as the target area. You'll get the best effect out of it. If it's very different from the target area, it's going to look really nasty. It's going to be very, very noticeable. All right, so now that we made those two adjustments, I'm going to hit Q to jump out of my tool, and then we're going to hit space bar to zoom out and see if the effect is noticeable. But since we can't change the shape of the spot removal tool, there are some problems and situations where we have to rely on Photoshop. And that's mainly when you have more complex areas or longer areas that you need to clone out. Like for example, this dust piece in the bottom right of the lens, this is something that a simple circular brush is not going to do a good job of healing out. And let me show you. So if I go back to my healing brush and I select, well, we can do either one. We can do heal or clone. We'll select a healing brush right now. I'm going to increase the size. We can also increase or decrease the size by hitting left and right bracket while the tool is active. So I'm going to actually zoom out so we can see a little bit better. I'm going to replace this area right here. And check this out. We're going to clone and try and heal from an area that's very similar. So right here, I'm going to hit enter. But look, if I hit Q to deactivate my tool, it looks very, very obvious, especially in this darker area where you can see it basically kind of graduating from this healed area to the brush. 
So this is one of those places where we it's really not effective or efficient to use the spot healing brush tool. Another way to possibly try and do it is to use very, very small brushes multiple times. But again, we run into an area where it's just not efficient and opening up in Photoshop is gonna be much faster. So once again, to change the size, we can either change the size directly from here. We can type in a number, move the slider up and down. We can also mouse wheel up and down, or we can use the left and right bracket. To change the opacity, which is basically the opacity of the target area that you're gonna replace, we would just adjust it from here. So on areas on skin where you want to diminish something as opposed to replacing it, we would adjust the opacity down. And I'm gonna show you guys a quick example of that. So let's actually reset this now. And we're gonna go back to grid view by hitting G. And I'm gonna select a different image. Let's select the image of our model right here with her boyfriend. We're gonna hit D to go into the develop module. And then I'm gonna zoom in and check this out. If there's area on skin, like say for example, uh, maybe right here, where we don't want to necessarily remove that. I mean, I, I probably would remove this spot, but if we don't want to remove it, we just want to diminish it, we'd go to our spot removal tool. We'd go to the healing or cloning tool either way. Uh, we'll just pick the cloning tool for this case because I don't want it to, I, I just want to diminish it. I don't need to heal it out. So I'm just going to select this area. And then once it's selected, I'm going to move the spot, uh, the, the spot removal tool sample area over another similar area of skin. And then we're just going to adjust the opacity down. And what this does is it has an effect of diminishing that dot without completely removing it. And so if someone has a beauty, uh, like a beauty mark that looks good, but maybe it's just too bold on the face, then you can diminish it by adjusting the opacity down. Now you can tell that that's diminished now because if I go and click backslash to view the before, then you can see how dark it is on the before versus how light it is on the after. So that's an easy way using the spot removal tool to actually diminish an area versus remove it completely. So I'm going to hit reset and that covers our spot removal tool. By the way, if you apply the tool and you want to just see the before and after effect, you can click on an area and you can either hit backslash, which is probably the easiest way to do it, um, where it'll show you the before and the after, or you can just turn it off with this little switch right here. And this will turn off the spot removal tool and remove all of the spot removal areas that you've already created. All right, guys, so let's hit reset and let's close our spot removal tool by hitting Q. And now let's go to the next tutorial.